are back at it again I got a couple miles away from the house and realized that I didn't have my SD card so I'd go all the way back to the house for that um, hit 50 subscribers today so I don't know if y'all know how the subscriptions work as far as who I can see does you have a privacy setting you can turn on or off whether or not you want people to see your subscriptions um, some of y'all have them turned on where I can see who subscribes whoever was my 50th subscriber it was turned off so I have no clue who my 50th subscriber was so if you use my 50th subscriber thanks a lot um, so other than that um, we're headed to the salvage yard today um, I am going to pull the rear brakes off of a 2013 Chevy Sonic RS because um, it's got disc brakes on it this has uh, trailer brakes so we're going to do that Alright, here's the car. Got uh, there's some crunch up here in the front. I already pulled the engine out of it and took a few things off. Uh, they pulled the doors on it the other day because these was on here when I came out here Sunday. Airbags deployed. It's got, uh, it's got leather seats with the uh, Alcantara siding on it. Um, Eh, I mean, yeah, it'd be cool to have, but I'm not super concerned with it. Had the touchscreen, nice upgraded stereo in it. I wish mine had that, that'd be nice. Um, I might see what it takes to switch mine over to that. And uh, so, yeah. So I gotta pull the center console out. And I'm gonna pull these off. Um, and we'll kind of just go from there. I know I need the bracket, the caliper, the uh, parking brake cable, and this line here, the steel brake line and the brake hoses. Everything else should be the same. This is the same. And uh, my hub should be the same. I'll probably take it just to make sure. And then, um, yeah. That should be about it. Contemplating pulling these seats out, but I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna pass on it. I mean, they'd be nice to have. They look nice, um, but I just don't know. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. Oh well, there's a, there's a rip in that one. Look at that. See that? So never mind. Scratched up right there. We're just gonna pass, so I'm gonna pop this out. All right. By the way, you see that there is a seven millimeter bolt back right there, so on the other side. Pop those out. Good thing about it working on a salvage yard car is uh, you don't have to really worry. So much about all the shit. Whew. It is muddy, muddy right there. Here's that. Here's that one. <clears throat> and Looks 
seven. <laughs> right there. That one is pretty well already out. Not sure how much of this I have to remove. here and it should slide out of that but first let's just do that yeah got it down got to that so we'll disconnect that part and that runs down into there and then one on the other side runs down right there. So we'll get that out. A lot of money in this car. A bunch of quarters. All that. So that I'm going to Disconnect that. Alright. Got that fed through. And it just runs along down through there. So, see that right there. Now, just gotta get this part off. It's all locked up. Hopefully, that caliper is all good and everything. Should be. See once we get it unbolted. All right, sun's out. It's extremely bright out here. It's hot now. Got this off. So it's these four bolts. Then that um, parking brake cable comes across through here. So undone those two. Took the brake line off. Undone these four. Pulled the uh, ABS wire out. And. This is what I got. The first one I took apart, um, like all the pieces individually, and made a mess. So this one I just, I left everything attached, just removed these four bolts, pulled that whole thing out as an assembly, and it just worked out a lot better. So, the other thing I was looking at while I was down here is I was noticing this has a uh, factory GM performance muffler on it. I was kind of leaning towards taking it. I think I will. Cut that, uh, cut that off right there. Pull this down. I think I'm going to take it. All right. Well, so they ended up welding that. So I wasn't able to just 
undo it and pull this off like I was hoping. So I had to pull the whole muffler off, which in order for me to do that, well, actually it's not a bad deal that I did because Chevrolet Performance, that's all, oh, that's all stainless steel. So it's actually a good thing that I pulled that whole thing off. Anyways, um, I ended up having to pull this whole thing off because I couldn't separate it there. So that's now just kind of, um, I don't know if these are lowering springs or not, but I'm not worried about the ride height or anything like that. So, um, I looked up, there's different part numbers for the hub bearings, but from my understandings, the hub bearings that I have in mine will fit. I don't know what the difference is. Uh, it could be as simple as the, uh, the hole that you use for screwing the rotor to it. That could be the difference. I don't know. So, anyways... There it is. Got some sweet exhaust tips. I'll be changing out anyways. I don't like them. Um, I'm gonna do a uh, just a single exhaust outlet. So, anyways, that's pretty much it.